I have to absorb, I have to learn. I can do this. Like, it will be challenging, but I can do this. Hello, everybody! It's your boy, Davlorito. And if you can't remember that name, just remember my name's David. Ding. Welcome to my channel. All those new subscribers, I've seen that I have a few new subscribers since I moved here to Korea. And um, I just want to say hello, 안녕하세요, hola, merhaba, elas, konnichiwa, hello. I'm a bit excited today because, 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 I just finished my homework. <laughs> What a reason. It's a bit strange. I haven't spoken like in the last four hours because I have been doing my homework. And the Oscar goes to... I didn't speak with anyone because I was doing my homework. So it's... I'm a, I feel like I'm a bit rusty. I just want to say hello to everyone who is new to my channel and hello to everybody who has been watching all along. On today's video, I'm gonna talk about the subjects that I'm taking here at university and how it changed my perspective and what my thoughts are on studying right now. So with that being said, let's get to it! Okay, so for today, I'm going to wear pomegranate... Wait, how do you even pronounce this? Pom... pomegranate? Pomegranate? I realize there are many English words I don't even know how to pr pronounce. Grenade? Pomegranate? Pomegranate. Grenade. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. I have no idea how you pronounce this in English. The face shop. Ooh, it smells good. Just have to get this open. I'm home alone right now. Because I was not able to go out with them because I was doing my homework. <laughs> I never know how to find out which side is which. You know what? This I think this is the first mask that makes me feel relaxed right after it's on. This is the first mask that really like really fits my face without this like being too long down here. Like it would be nice if this part would also get something because I just shaved my Build. I originally um, signed up for four classes. First one is directing animation. Second one is basic visual editing. Number three is media studies. Number four was intermediate Korean. Let me start with intermediate Korean lesson because I ended up dropping that one. Here's what you gotta know about why. I will tell you briefly what happened to me and why I decided to drop it and based on that maybe you can make a better decision whether you want to do it or not as well. So the intermediate um, Korean class it goes like this you have to fill out a um, pre-test already before you even come here but apparently some did not receive it and they just like signed up but yeah you will receive one you will have to send it in and then once you have like once the class starts you have to check when the classes that you want to take um, I can only speak for intermediate I don't know how the basic one works but intermediate is you come in on the first day of that class then you have to do a test which is about one hour you have one hour time to do it you will get your results and they will tell you which level you are. Originally there should only be level 1, 3 and 5 but for some reason after the, the test, the exam, they decided to have like level 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 I think. I got into level 3 and... Annyeonghaseyo! I went to the first class, like the official class. The reason why I decided to drop the Korean class is because I felt so strange in the class it was I understood everything that she was saying that like, I really understood everything that she was saying my problem is more the grammar this is general now I feel like all of, all of my classes are three hours long three hours that's so different in Germany it's 90 minutes here it's three hours like every subject I have is three hours long um, so yeah Korean lesson was three hours as well with the three hours is it's only the teacher or the professor just talking straight to you and you're supposed to just like absorb everything take notes and then and then she would just like like say Kenchanayo? Ah, Kenchanayo. and then continue so it is going on a fast pace and 
I feel like um, like the people that I spoke with in the class they did not really get me except for one um, and I said I felt like that the class was just about passing the class to get the credits because you you don't even get have time to talk you like you don't even have time to use what you learned um, she when she would say talk with one another not even two minutes and then she would already say okay let's continue so you you can't really talk and my goal was to learn to speak Korean and not to pass some exam test that will apparently tell the whole world that I'm fluent in Korean now because I know from previous experiences exams I usually am bad I'm bad in any language I usually end up having bad grades in the exam but when it comes to talking even though it's not perfect I end up talking a lot so I use what I know so I asked some of my Korean friends here and they told me yeah that's Korean teaching just the teacher talking and talking and talking and the students no, taking notes, 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 notes. My Korean friends and they told me, you know what, David, just do as you plan to buy some books, study yourself, and then just talk with us, speak with us, and we will teach you. You learn by doing. So that's basically what I'm doing now. Let's go backwards. Media studies. This was one class that I was considering to drop as well because many told me that it's like a very strict class like my uh, Korean friends told me like everyone's panicking and they don't like this class because like the teacher is so strict etc and then once I met the teacher I'm gonna stay in this class because he he's like very entertaining and he's very I, for me he's very chilled um, the reason I think why many Koreans or my Korean classmates don't like the class or said they don't like the class or they're scared of it is because you have to present all the time and as you can tell by YouTube, I have no problem speaking. But I do have to say, in the first time that I presented, I was nervous. But but it was so strange to me why I was nervous because I usually don't get that nervous. But because the atmosphere in the classroom was so like, oh, we're all nervous. I think it affected me as well. But yeah, that class was fun. And moving on to basic editing, basic visual editing. When I entered into the class, I was thinking, Whew. Everything that we're gonna do, but like syllabus wise, like I know it's editing, like I edit on YouTube, so um, for YouTube, and we're using Final Cut Pro, so everything that we are doing as of now is like stuff that I know. But I do have to say, I am learning, and the reason why I decided to stay in the class is because my, my professor, he has worked with he's worked for actual movies already so I when I heard of the of his his life his career I was like <gasps> I have to stay I have to stay I have to absorb I have to learn from this man who has been in the field and I was like when do I get this chance I have like give me your knowledge just give it to me just pass on what you know <laughs> so I decided to stay um, and of course I had like I had to stay because I have to take at least three classes I'm so oh by the way I'm so happy that I have to only take three classes from my university um, because others other exchanges they have to like take five or six and I'm like thank god I just have to take three okay Moving on to the last class, which is directing animation. This one I just signed up for fun, like just for fun, because this was not um, what I wanted to do. Like animation was not, it's not like really my thing. But when I entered the classroom and then I just sat down and then she, my teacher started to speak, same situation, it's like, ooh, this woman has worked in the field. And, and the way she, she like she sold the class to me like for I was convinced like I have to take this class and um, it was like a more of a challenge thing I was thinking I can do this like it will be challenging but I can do this and that's basically the reason why I stayed in the class and I'm enjoying it so far and I don't really draw anymore like I don't I really don't draw a lot anymore I'm not sure if I already showed this but I'm just gonna show it so this is my notebook my free notebook, it's up to me. We are supposed to draw every day, like which is very strange to me because I don't draw every day. So, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, here is, um, that's in Seoul Tower or 
Nam Sun Tower. I drew some. Oh yeah, I think I showed this in some video. Anyway, two different eyes. This is not one face. I just like tried out eyes and then some emotions, etc. I'm very excited because with this class, I'm actually writing a, I would say, web series of which would consist out of 10 episodes. And I'm so excited. Like I'm learning so much, guys. <laughs> Once I started university, I was like, I'm so glad I'm out of school. University is the thing. Like this is what I enjoy. Back in Germany, my my major is interdisciplinary American studies and like it's interesting and I have to say I did enjoy my student life in Germany but uh, it's it's so different now because I learned about politics, culture, literature, history, etc. etc. So you read a lot of texts which is also great like I learned a lot of things but I'm a creative person, I really am, and for the first time, let's say educational-wise, I'm super excited to go to class and ev it's the first time that every class that I have, I enjoy. Because I, I dropped Korean class, right? So I have media studies, I have basic visual editing, and I have directing animation. And I like all of them, and I enjoy them, and my class is great, like in every class I have made friends. If you are a shy person, it's totally fine to be shy, but if you want to, you're saying like, oh, I want to make friends so bad, I want to talk with people, I want to overcome this fear of um, like talking with strangers. If you come to Korea for an exchange, just talk, really, just talk. Because here you can start afresh, like, you define who you are here because nobody knows you from previous, I don't know, classes or years. So, if if I were to give you advice, talk to your classmates and with some it will click, with some it won't, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, I have, I have friends in every class and I enjoy going there um, and I'm so happy to get to know them more and I'm excited to get, get to know new people. On one hand, I'm very happy that I decide, like I, that I'm studying interdisciplinary American studies in Germany because this enabled me to come here to Korea for this exchange. But on the other hand, that I was, that I'm able to take these courses now because my major here in Korea while I'm here as an exchange student is film, television, and multimedia. Oh, I'm so, I'm enjoying it so much and I'm feeling like, oh, when I graduate, I, I will have a, a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary American studies and I feel like I should have a bachelor's degree in film, television, and multimedia. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, like, I really enjoy it. I'm considering to study this as, like, again, if I have to study it as a bachelor's degree, I might consider it. I'll try to get into a master's degree for this because I really enjoy it. I really do. But, like, it's dry out. Okay, I have to say, I kind of like this mask. This sheet mask is, is it feels refreshing. I want to say for this video is if you're going for an exchange to another country and you don't necessarily have to take your major, um, the same major that you have in your home university, I would really suggest you to try out a um, another major that you have been interested in for a while or um, but and make sure that you'll get credits um, or if you, you have to take your major that you have in your home university make sure that you'll also um, try to get into like one or two classes maybe one I don't know how, how much you can take um, from another department just to see if you like it and I think I think that you just be like more spontaneous <laughs> don't be so uptight because I also learned today that many Koreans study for a long time because it's to take off a year off two or even up to three years because of military service and they can take off just f for whatever reason and um, also some are afraid not to get a job right away so they like they try to remain a student um, and I feel I, I, I feel with them because it's basically the same thing that's happening to me <laughs> And being a student is great. I, I have to say, be, the student life as of now is the best. Like I know, I, I've worked in the past and like while work is great because you have money, I prefer being a student, hands down. Being a student is the best. Like in my 24 years, I have to say the student life is the best. 
as of now. Yeah, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Night Mask Talk and if there are any topics that you want me to talk about or to reflect because I'm, I, this is actually reflecting but if there is a certain topic that you want me to talk about or you just have a question please put it in the comments down below even for my Korean viewers I'm sorry my Korean is not that good I can't really put Korean subtitles I may use Naver translations to just put there so you can have an idea of um, what I'm talking about in my, my videos um, but yeah you can also do the translations yourself there's actually a link down below you can check help it says help me with translation and then you can translate my video um, into your language so that other people from your country or um, who speak your language can understand what I'm talking about that would be super great that would be a great help for me and um, yeah I think that's all that I have to say for now other than that, I wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, a good evening, wherever you may be. See you soon. Adios. Kumai.